seen a lot of information about buyer personas, understanding the demographics of your ideal client, their name, their age, the occupation that they're in, the role that they play inside the buying sales cycle. I encourage you inside your buyer persona, do you cover what the individual's cl client's fears, goals, and ambitions are? Listen, we have to dive in deep. And if you want to include more empathy into your sales cycle, you have to know what is your client afraid of? They're not just afraid of making a bad decision. They're afraid of losing their job. They're afraid of completely having their company go bankrupt. They're afraid of not being relevant in the company anymore. Those are real fears. And their goals and ambitions might not just be to save the company money. Their goals and ambitions might be to take their family on vacation, which will happen when they achieve their bonus. Their goals and ambitions might be to pay for their child's university, which will happen when they're able to sell to even more clients. Their goals and ambitions might be to become the number one company in whatever geography that they are. Now those are real. It doesn't necessarily mean that your product or service is going to help to take them from there to that ultimate goal and ambition, but even small steps get you that much closer. How does your product and service align to the bigger picture that the client wants to and how will that small step get them even closer? Understand your client's fears, goals and ambitions and I promise you will sell even more faster. Let me know down in the comments, are you understanding what your client's goals and ambitions are? Are you taking time to understand what their fears are? And how do you do that? Or is that still a question? Thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you more.